In today's video, I want to show you how you can incorporate the Gemini model into your existing or new CICD pipelines. For that, I'm going to use some example. So I'm going to work on GitLab, GitLab CICD, as well as obviously Gemini model, which I will develop within Google AI Studio for the prompt engineering part and connect everything to show you the end results. And we are actually going to start with the end results so you will see what we are trying to achieve. It's going to be an um, GitLab repository that can automatically propose an improvement for the code quality whenever the developer is pushing any code, in this case, Python code to the repository. And that's just the example of showing you the idea how to kind of shift AI assistant from developer's environment to the repository side. And that sometimes that makes a lot of sense, especially if your project have some, um, you know, specific settings or specific way it should be developed, right? Then this idea might be really beneficial. So bear with me, I will start with the example what we are trying to achieve, then I will show you how that works under the hood. And at the end, I'll try to summarize everything with a nice, short, very short presentation. And it might get a bit complicated at the, at the time, but remember, you don't have to understand every piece of code, every line of code, right? Just to try to understand the general idea. Hi, I'm Tomek. Enjoy today's video. In this video, I want to show you how to incorporate Gemini into CICD pipeline. And for that, I'm going to use GitLab as an example. I already have my GitLab pipeline file ready together with readme file as well as folder scripts with improved Python. And we will discuss that later on, but let's start with the end result. So I will show you what the pipeline actually does. So whenever in this repository, a developer creates a new Python script or edits existing Python script, uh, when the script is committed to the repository, the pipeline will automatically start. And the, um, the job of the pipeline is to review the code, check how to improve it in terms of the quality, but do not change the logic, just improve the quality and propose the changes in form of the match request. So as you can see, my code that I just committed, it's working fine, but it's really poorly written. There is no doc strings. It's hard to understand what's going on. It has very bad naming conventions like A, B, what is N, etc. Of course, that's a short script as a short example. So it's not really that hard to understand, but you know what I'm going with that, right? If another developer is to continue working on that, this code could be a bit more elegant, right? So uh, once this uh, stats.py has been committed, the pipeline started in the background. And it usually takes around 40, 50 seconds to complete. So once we review, refresh the page, we already should see some results. And the result that I'm expecting is in form of the match request for the developer to be able to review if the improved code is actually better in terms of the quality and, uh, you know, leave human in the loop to decide if the suggested changes should be matched to the code or not. So after refresh, we can see the new match request pop up. Once I open that, improve Python code, first I should see is quite detailed explanation what has been changed. So as you can see, more meaningful naming, doc strings, error handling, pep app compliancy, and preservation of my logic, which is important for me as a developer. So if I check the changes itself, as you can see from quite ugly code, we've got a much more elegant solution with better naming convention, some error handling, but preservation of the logic that I use. For example, the way I do the summary or the way I calculate average, the logic is the same, which is great, right? So that's the end result of an example I want to show it to you today. And of course, you can take this example and try to build on your own something else, some other functionality that, that can incorporate generative AI into your CI/CD pipelines. So let's take a look under the hood how that works. 
For that, I will open editor and open GitLab CI.yaml with my pipeline definition or yeah, pipeline definition. And as you can see, there's just one stage with improved Python files that uh, uses Python 3.9 image, some before script configuration. And the script itself checks for the changed files with uh, Python files. And whenever there's a Python file that has been changed or created, and the script is uh, running with scripts improve Python Py on that new file or modified file as an parameter. And I will explain the script a bit later, but what you have to understand that it will change the file that we are modifying as well as add changelog to file called changelog improvements.md. So the rest of this pipeline is to actually uh, create a new branch, push the changes uh, to the new branch, extract the modification from the markdown file to the match request message and create the match request. So that was the magical uh, pipeline I defined in GitLab. Let's take a look at the script improve Python, which might be more of an interest to you. It has a couple of uh, functions like read file content, save it and ask Gemini. Ask Gemini is the most interesting one. As you can see, I'm using flash with 002 version, so the newest one. And the system instructions is quite detailed. It tells exactly what to do and exact output I wanted to have. And let me give you an example why I put it in this way. If we go to Google AI Studio and with system instructions, we just say your job is to improve Python code. And, you know, as an example, let's use the same code we did previously. We will have a result, right? The model will produce an output, but first of all, it's unstructured. So it will be really hard to automatically or programmatically work on that uh, output because every single time it might be a little bit different, right? And then the um, Gemini is updating the code, but with no clear instructions, what type of improvements are we looking for? So if we take a look at my uh, prompt, it has five points I want to cover, and it also has an instruction in what formats to uh, return the results. But if I copy over my very long system instructions with detailed information of how the output should look like and what I'm expecting from it, we can see that I've got the output exactly as I wanted. So in the first block, I've got my improved code. And in the second block, I've got my uh, change log, right? Or the information has been modified. So with that output, it's easier to programmatically work on that, for example, on the Python script. So that's why the system prompt is so important, right? That's why prompt engineering is a real thing. And then, as you can see in my script, I also extract Python code and change log code from that long string and then save it to two different files. All right, so we can actually test that script, you know, locally on your Linux machine, for instance. And let's quickly check it out. So I've got my um, local folder with improved Python script, as well as calc.py with some very simple and short, um, you know, calculation script. If I run improved Python Py on that particular calc.py, in a couple of seconds, I should see on my screen improved code and changelog, but also the two files, changelog improvements MD with explanation what has been changed and calc.py with improved code. So in this case, mostly adding the doc strings and improving a little bit the quality of the function definition. So that's it. The script works locally, right? So that's exact script that is running on the uh, container that GitLab CI is creating. And once those two files are modified, then uh, of course, one file is being added to the new um, new branch and the other one is being extracted as a content for the uh, match request message. I know it's a bit complicated, so let's try to sum it up. We've got our developer who is pushing the code to the code repository. That triggers automation that can read some requirements, what it's supposed to do. Based on that, some kind of compute, temporary compute is being built. 
and the compute's job is to call improve python script that is making api calls to the native ai and produces suggested improvements and change log based on that the pull request or merge request is being created for the developer to review the changes itself now what's going on on this compute layer right with this uh, generative ai uh, improved python script so let's recap that as well we've got our pipeline logic um, that is calling our generative ai script with system prompt, with adding files to the context and making API calls to Gemini, uh, using regex to extract the file content, saving them on the feature branch, taking changelog from the script output and create the mesh request for user to be able to review that later on. All right, uh, I think this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you've got any questions, please use the comment section and consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel if you really like that in my future videos i will try to do something similar with github maybe with a bit more complicated ideas since i've got one on my head already and yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next one